What is a fellow game if I... Whoa. Well done. Oh, oh. <sighs> the hell? Oh, God. Jesus. All right. Guys, so say, if you haven't already tell, we are doing player death and respawning animations, or not animations, gameplay mechanics in the game, the 2D platform we've been making. So let's get started. Okay, guys, so we're now in Unity, and as you can see, our uh, last video we made this little enemy that when we collide with it, we could just throw him around, which isn't good. When you collide with an enemy, you should probably die. Pew! Pew, 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 pew! Um, but yeah, look, we can throw him off, and then he just loses it. Oh, wow, he landed on a different platform. Now he's trying a different one. <laughs> but as you can tell, he... Um, currently doesn't kill you and you can just run into him which isn't great we kind of need to die sounds weird but before we do that we need to create a prefab of our player so if you click on the player and you just drag him into the prefabs we will then have the player prefab once we have created a player prefab we then want to create a respawn point at the point we are currently at so i'm going to click on the player i'm going to right click and create an empty object called respawn point and then I'm going to just drag this outside of the player now as you can see it's right there so I'm just gonna give this a little green boy tag to show where it is so that is where we'll respawn after we die now what we need to do once we've done that is basically make sure we can die um, so what we need to do is go onto our player and we could do this in any of our script. We're going to create a new one called player death, which is very ominous. I know. I'm sorry. Player death. Um, and then we're going to click create an ad. I'm going to then drag this under the scripts. I'm going to drag this under the scripts. There we go. And I'm then going to double click it to open it up in Visual Studio where we will edit the script. So I'm going to double click it and we'll see you in Visual Studio. Okay guys, so we're now inside official studio and the first one I'm going to do is clean this up a little by literally deleting everything. I'm then going to create a public transform called respawn point. We're then going to have a another one called public game object. Sorry, not public game object and not respawn point. This is the player death. All we're doing in here is dying. <laughs> so we're going to say on collision enter 2d we're going to say if collision dot compare tag compare dot game object dot compare tag there we go <laughs> um, we're going to say enemy i'm going to check if it's an enemy and if it is we're just going to destroy our player so we're just going to destroy game object which is going to kill us we're dead boom dead and gone we're then going to get a reference to a different script, but we need to set the script up first. So I'm actually going to go up here and just create a public, or actually no, we'll create an instance for this, a level manager. So let's go back to Unity. Okay guys, now we're back in Unity, we want to create a level manager. So I'm going to create a game object, I'm going to call it the level manager, which will control a lot of different things, mainly our level. So this is an instance which will create on every single different level with, and it will have its own set stats, respawn points and stuff like that. It will just basically hold all the information for a specific level. So the first thing we want to do is create a, a level manager script, create an add. And then what we're going to do is once this has rendered or compiled, we're then going to double click this to open it up in Visual Studio. Now we're in official studio, I'm just going to remove these again and we're going to give a public transform called respawn point. We're also, before we do this, we're going to turn this into a, a global instance, for example, so you're able to access it from anywhere. So we're just going to say public static level manager instance. Now this is just basically going to say um, we'll create an instance and this is why it is. Now, to make this accessible elsewhere in other scripts, oh, let's close this, let's remove these two lines, and underneath respawn, we're going to create an awake function. Now, in the awake function, we're just going to set instance is equal to this. 
Now, normally people like to do it where they do instance and then they make it all global and do the singleton pattern. This is not the singleton pattern. All this is, is just me making sure this is accessible from other scripts without having to reference it every single time. Because we're gonna have to reference the level manager a lot. So we've got a public transform respawn point. We then want a public, not a public, a public game object called player prefab. Now we're going to have a respawn method where we say we're just going to say in or instantiate. We're going to say so instantiate that way, and we're going to say player prefab, and we're going to give it the respawn point dot position and a quaternion dot identity for its rotation, so no rotation. Once we have done that, we will then be able to call it, we need to make this public so we can call it elsewhere in other scripts. So if we go back to our player death, when we get destroyed, we then want to say, also we basically want to say instant or level manager dot instance dot respawn. Now what we're doing here is basically just saying, we're going to respawn our player um, as soon as we can. So as soon as we die, we'll then respawn. So let's hit save. Let's go back to left manager. I'm just making sure I've done this all right. Player prefab and that, that seems good. So let's head back over to Unity and let's see is all oh, actually on our left manager. We need to give it the respawn point. The good thing about this as well is we can do a system where if we set different respawns points, we can pick up new respawn points further along the level. So if you're halfway through a level, you could add another respawn point there and so on. Uh, and then we're going to pass through our player prefab to, oh, scroll, scroll, scroll. Sorry, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. Oh, no, two players, two players. We have an issue. Houston, we have an issue. Delete, go to level manager and drag our player prefab on here. Hit save. And now let's hit play. Now let's go see if we can die. <laughs> Fun thing to say on a... Uh, Today. So now if we jump up here and we die, you can see we respawn at the bottom, but we've got a new issue now. So now we've died and we've respawned, we, the camera no longer follows us. We can no longer use the camera to follow us about. Yeah, so now we need to be able to relink our camera script. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our level manager. Well, inside of Unity, we're going to say is, well, actually, first we need to go up to the using tag and say, a cinema machine because we're going to be using cinema machine's camera then we're going to get a a public cinema machine brain call it brain and then what we want to do is say so if we go through you can see brain sorry we don't want brain we want cinema machine virtual camera do 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 Probably easier if I just type the whole thing out. Virtual camera base, we're gonna call this uh, cam. And then we want to go down to respawn. We wanna set this play or game object to player. And then we wanna say cam dot follow is equal to player dot travel player dot transform save go back double check that follow is correct it's so far set to that now what we want to do is go play oh wait no nope, there is something we need to do we need to go over to our level manager and actually drag in our virtual camera now let's hit play and now if we run climb and we die Oh, we died, but our camera should now still be linked to our player. Actually, you can see the camera is still moving. It's hooked up to our new player. So I've noticed enough of bug. We actually added the player def script after we added the prefab. So what we need to do is go over to override and click apply all. Now, if we hit play and we head over to this enemy and die. We go back, but now we should also be able to die again. And that is it for the player 
death and respawn video. In the next video, we're probably going to be looking at maybe double jump or something. So I've done double jump in a different video. Um, so maybe we'll look at something. Hey, okay, maybe picking up money and saving it to our level manager and displaying it on screen. Maybe that'll be a fun one. We'll see what happens. But for now, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out and keep muddy. Okay, guys, thank you for watching that video. I just before we end the video, I want to say thank you guys for supporting me. This is my grind at the minute. This is what I want to do, and I want to teach you guys new things. Now, to help me out, you could subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Every single one helps me. Um, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below also. I now have a little funny clip of my intro where you might have saw where I did a little cut and a little fall and there's a quite a loud thump in that video. I may have bruised my knee and it is now very sore. I bash my knee on the desk. <laughs> but um, I hope you enjoy this little blooper and comment below broke knee if you got here so I know you got to the end of the video. Thanks for watching guys, keep muddy and peace out. Well done.